you mean to tell the world that none of these children had enough sense in, it, in their mind to go tell their parent that this isn't right. Some, I've been touched sexually. York's case was reported as the largest prosecution for child assault ever directed at a single person in the history of the United States, both in terms of number of victims and number of incidents. Sonetta called polite baby Dr. York. But see, when you see, I'm speaking on behalf of the, 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 the children or the, or the people that, 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 that had to testify or that testified. That had to testify based on what that he. All right, so let's talk about this real quick. This video right here is, I, I found it posted in 2017. I don't know if the video is older or younger than that. The person right here on the right is Brother Polite. This person right here, though he's an adult right now, when he was younger, he alleges that he was assaulted by Dr. Malachi York. Now, for those of you who don't know, let's let's just let's let's go back out. Let's go back out and show, right? So Dr. York, if you just look up Dr. York Nuwabian, Dr. York was this guy. This dude right here, he created a movement apparently many, many years ago talking about getting back to our African roots, becoming sovereign, stuff like that. I actually had a family member that got caught up in his cult. And I took my family member when I lived in Georgia, I took my family member to the compound that this guy had because I wanted to just kind of keep an eye on my family members, see what was going on, etc. This is a, a, a distant relative, right, who happened to be visiting America and was interested in this whole Nuwabian thing, right? And I took him to this compound and I had a look around and I got creepy vibes on the compound myself. It was weird. There was a lot of weird. It just was a weird energy there. It wasn't a peaceful healing energy. Like when you go up to the Omega Institute in New York, it wasn't that type of vibe. It was weird. They had these paper mache um, totem poles and these paper mache. Um, you know how I look because I, I went to Egypt um, before I had I went to Egypt. And when I went to Egypt, they had these um, sorry, what is it called? The, the tall the tall um, images of people who are shaped like bird heads and all this other stuff. You know, the whole Egyptian feel kind of thing. So it was a lot of that stuff, except it was made out of paper mache. It wasn't carved out of wood. It wasn't set with cement. It was like paper mache. It was, it was, it was bizarre. And they had like this little circle thing where you walk around in this circle and it's supposed to be healing for you. But I just got a real creepy vibe there. And it was just, it was weird. It was just weird. They claimed that they were sovereign on this huge piece of land. And it, after we had left there, it turns out that this guy, this, this, this person right here. So he's been around a long time and he's been, um, He's been seen with all different types of people in the music industry and et cetera, et cetera. And so he, this is him on the right, right here. This guy right here with the, with the hat on and all of that. So they say that he has done record breaking things for black people, that he became a Liberian citizen and all this other stuff, right? He taught and taught and, and did all of this stuff talking about black people having their own. But then it turns out that he may have had a a thirst for youngins not even just he ugh, there's words you can't say on youtube i wish that we could but he had this thirst for for children and he ended up hurting a lot of children so many that the number of people who came forward to testify against him was profound. It was a windfall. And he is currently serving 135 years under the jail. They threw away the key. And he in court was like, you, I'm sovereign. You have no control over me and all this other stuff. Well, they got control over your ass now, don't they, sir? Because you are under the jail. You will never get out in this lifetime, ever. Right. So nonetheless, that 
this man who is currently serving his sentence is the mentor of Polite, right? So I want you to keep that in mind. So when we see this video here, I want you to keep in mind that this, that these, that this guy, the one on the left, right? The one on the left says that he, um, he lived on the compound. He was, he was there as a child and he was assaulted by Dr. York, who's the guy we just saw. And so listen to how polite treats him. He, he, he even starts hollering at him at one point. Let's continue. He did, he did do something to him. Well, I, I say had to testify because some people didn't testify. So some people felt it in, in, in that they had to do this. Like it's something that they had to do. For me, it felt like it was something that I had to do. Because one, like I told you, my, both my sisters went, went through the same thing I went through. And both of my older sisters. Do you mind sharing? I don't know nothing. Sharing, okay, well, both of my sisters have been molested. By who? By Malachi Young. By Pops, Barbara, you know, Esau, and Mom Esau, whatever. You know, they've been, they've been they've, he has sex with them. And they at was, what ages? At what ages? I mean, you know, if you want to get the accurate number, you can ask them. Around what age? You know, I, I mean, 13, to 14, 7, 8. You know, and I will only speak for myself as far as the yeah, personal no thing that I've been through. Of course, you. And I, and as far as if, you know, and I don't want to get graphic. One, you know, okay, I'm a dude. I'm not going to be walk, walking around saying that I've been molested, this, this, and that happened. As a man, you don't want to be going around saying that. Yeah, you know understand. what I'm saying? So when in my situation or my, my the way I grew up, I was ready to move on. I left in 2001. I was ready to just live my life, move on, whatever. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the people started doing the investigations and stuff. The FBI started doing the investigations, started trying to get statements from people. Both my sisters went ahead and gave their statements. Yeah. I still had nothing to do with it, no statement, no nothing. When I realized, okay, they're about to go to court. You know, and I went through the same thing that they went through. Like, I'm my mother's only son, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm the man of the family. You know what I'm saying? My sisters were going to stand up for themselves, and, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I was like, okay, well, I, and then that's when I gave my, 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 you know, my statement, and that's when I decided that, you know, that I was going to go ahead and, and, and do it. Nobody wants to see they, they, they family go get locked away. So, I really understand how hard it is for people that, that's deeply involved in it also. And people gotta understand, I was born and raised in it too. So I understand from, from inside out also what it feels like not to have this person around giving, still giving leadership. You know, so it's not, it's not no stranger, no, no, no random person that's saying, oh, this happened, this happened. I mean, this, you know, this, this stuff, like I was seven years old. You know what I'm saying? I was upstate New York. Before, seven. After Brooklyn, you know, I was upstate New York when, I, when, when he first, you know, Touch me or whatever, and molest you know, and so from seven to fourteen, seven years that I went through this, you know what I'm saying, and that's my story. Would you say there's been over twenty children molested by Doctor York? I would say so. I mean, I, I would say, I would say that it was, you know, for, for, if I could confirm people that that I that I could strongly confirm, it would be about fifteen or twenty people. Obviously, if over 15 to 20 people, children were being molested, we have to now say... I want you... Okay, so listen, I... This is about to get hairy. If you're triggered by this type of thing, you can turn down the volume, and when you see this video off the... And you know what? I will, I will pause it again and let you know when it's over or when this video is off the screen, or you can just jump out of the video and come back because it's about to get very grotesque right now because he's about to start blaming children. This man said... This man said he was seven. Think about a seven-year-old child. Think about the 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 lack of awareness, the the just the 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 innocence, the joviality of a seven-year-old. We're talking about first grade. We're talking about with the big book bag on, and you know, going to their classes and learning how to just write straight. Seven years old. Seven. 
groomed in a world where this man stated that he was sent here from some with knowledge from some other planet in 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 some alternate universe. So this man with this celestial knowledge who have helped so many, who was doing so much in the community that people looked up to, took advantage of his position and hurt children. I want you to listen and pay attention because when I titled this video that, that, that this dude Polite is behaving as guilty people do, I want you to pay attention and see how he treats this person who is alleging that when he was a child that he was hurt. All right. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look. So go out and come back in. If this is, you know, listen, protect your peace. Because I know that there are things that are triggering for people. So protect your peace. Let's continue going forward. Hey, how come the adults wasn't saying nothing? Shouldn't they be locked up with Dr. All right. Yoke? So now he is going to, he's going to. We have to now a, say how come. He's going to give a false equivalence and talk about why aren't the adults locked up? Why didn't the children say anything if something was really happening? All these people. Now he's saying that the parents should be locked up. Let's, let's listen. Let's listen. Obviously, if over 15 to 20 people, children were being molested, see, we I have to that? now say, how come the adults wasn't saying nothing? Shouldn't they be locked up with Dr. Yoke too? How come they're free to testify about it? You understand the, the, adults, the adults are separated from their children. You know, so you had... You had the girls in one house, the boys in one house, the women in one place, the brothers in one place. You know, you had, everybody was separated. So it wasn't no house. Listen. Listen to how the man set the place up. Listen. He gave whatever reason it is that he needed to to separate the children from their parents, to separate the men from the women so that he could have access to the, this precious commodity. Listen. You know, people who have this type of sickness are very cunning. They're very cunning. They know how to be in the space that they need to be to get their supply. What is their supply? Children. So they get these jobs at places that they know that children are going to be. They set themselves up to be very charming and trustworthy. The reason why people trust their children with these people is not because they're walking around like, <laughs> no, they're walking around like, <laughs> I just love children. Well, maybe not like that. <laughs> maybe not like, cause that's creepy too. That's creepy, too. So he set up this compound so that the children were on their own. The parents were separated from the children. So he created the environment rife for his abuse. House with a family, and then you could, re you could recognize when your child is gone. You mean to tell the world that none of these children had enough sense in their, in their mind to go tell their parent that this isn't right. Some, I've been touched sexually. Listen, you hear how he's positing it, right? I'll rewind that for you. You mean to tell me none of these children had enough sense? What sense is a seven-year-old going to have? Why is he positing it as, and he's look at the look on the face of the man who he's talking to, who is disclosing that he had been hurt by this man. Look at his face. I want you to see his face as he's saying this. Look, look at his face. How do you continue talking to a person who posits that you didn't have enough sense to come forward as a seven-year-old child? A person who is in the presence of a man who is positioned as God in your world. This is sick. And so when he comes in and so when so is, is it any, is it any, is it any surprise? Is it any surprise? That years later, now somebody is coming out saying he's hurt them? Is it any surprise? The way that he is blaming children for not having quote-unquote sense. Let's continue. I've been sexually abused. Not yeah. one child out of all these children. None of these children had enough sense in their, in their mind to go tell their parent that this isn't right. Some, I've been touched sexually. I've been sexually abused. Not one child out of all these children. It could have stopped so long ago if just one child or just one adult. What caused all of this to come out? First, you hear nothing from nobody. Yeah. You hear nothing from nobody. Then you hear something from everybody. All, 
all at the same time. They might not have been the medium to to talk to anybody about about the situation. Not even and their what, parents. I mean, that's why. Of course, I could have talked to my. I could have told my mother. But you chose not to. And it's not that I chose not to. To to really explain it would, would really take a lot. But I mean, you're not really yourself when you're not. You know what I'm saying? You're not. You're not. You 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 ain't got no esteem. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't even face, like, my mother had to, when she found out from my sister and she came to me and asked me about it. And I still really couldn't even tell her. I had to say, well, I, I had sex with the girl and he was there. And that was my way of telling her that, yeah. So, he was sicking children onto other children. He said to his mother, I had intercourse with the girl and he was there. So he was over there playing these reindeer games, whatever the hell he was doing, having children mounting one another as he watched. And you see this guy. <sighs> Come on, this is too much. It happened, you know what I'm saying? But that's when the initial, initial conversation, and this is like, like two weeks before we left. It was something I was under. I couldn't tell my mom. I couldn't tell, I didn't tell nobody. It was something that that, that held me to not say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because I looked up to him as my dad, because I looked up to him as the person that he was. I thought he was a god figure. I thought he, you know, and, and all those reasons, like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to like see what, what the, why is this going on? What's the, what's the significance? I'm, I'm young. I don't even know what, what really in the sex and all. I don't, why do you think he's locked up for 135 years, underground 60 feet, in a super, super max penitentiary with no one with a case like into his own amongst cannibals? Not because what you think he should be locked up for, why you think he's locked up? Well, I mean, to answer your question in, in, in the way that I think you're asking it, you know what I'm saying? Because one, you have a, a black leader that, that was getting black people together. And so listen now, listen. So this guy, he'd already been groomed from when he was a child. Now he has this person who is, you can tell from the way that he's asking the question that he's on the side of the predator. And he's like, why do you think he's under there? And he's like, well, to answer the question in the way that, that you're asking it. So now he goes back into his cult programming. Listen to what he's about to say. He goes back into his cult programming and starts repeating regurgitated answers. Listen, listen, listen. Look at his poor face. Did be locked before. Why you think he's locked up? Well, I mean, to answer your question in, in, in the way that I think you're asking it, you know what I'm saying? Because one, you have a, a black leader that, that was getting black people together and had uh, and was building a sovereign nation. You tell me if this is something you believe. That's a, not, not what I want to hear. What, what, what do you personally believe? dealing with the facts of the matter not 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 denying you of your experience but based on what we all know what is necessary to lock a person up when you well, accuse I mean, them of what these I know type what of I things. know from history what I know from history is that whenever you have a black leader that's uplifting the people that's doing something for the community that's bringing people together and that's building people and elevating people then they get taken down you know what I'm saying and 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 he wouldn't have been taken down and he hasn't been taken down until they found something that to take him down with. If he threw everything away by molesting kid, did he really care about everybody else? This is what I have to live with. I have to live with how do I how do I come across the people that, that's in the that's in the knowledge and 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 and, and even vibe with them and, and talk to them on a regular level and, and people looking at me one way. Nah, that's all good. You but, can always I mean, come to a class of ours. That's cool, but you know what I'm saying? But well, it you. is but see the thing is that it don't make you a bad at the person. end of the day, people's always gonna um, have his word over anybody else's word because that's all they know. You no, know, at the end of the but, day, he's locked up, so obviously they took your word over everyone else's. It doesn't matter, like I told you, if we say he's innocent, when he's still locked up in prison. Y'all word accounted for everything. What the F is going on? He's hollering at this man. Now look at his body language. The dude is like, I don't know what to say. It, it, this happened to me and you're hollering at me. And he's like, it don't matter if we say he innocent and he put up the black power fist. Y'all were accounted for everything. Really? What, what is this? What is this? I'll rewind that part for you. For the people who are here. And look, I just want to look at his body language. Look. Look. 
he is man spreaded, legs wide open, arm on the back of the chair, taking up all of the space, right? And hollering at this guy. I just want you to see. I'll rewind a little bit of that for you so you can see again. Look at the way, look at what is his face telling you? What is, what is, what is, what is Michael Nowak's face? Because I don't like calling him brother polite. What is Michael Nowak's face telling you? He looked like Ike Turner right here. Look at his body language lunging up forward from the chair. Look, 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 look his body language as he's peering down at this guy, eyebrows and, and, and forehead furrowed. I'm sorry, this is just, this is sick. This is sick. His word over anybody else's word because that's all they know. You no, know, at the end of the but, day, he's locked up. So obviously they took your word over everyone else's. It doesn't matter. Like I told you, if we say he's innocent, when well, he's still locked up in prison. Your word accounted for everything. What I, I can't go back. You know what I'm saying? I can only face what's in front of me. And everything that's in front of me, I see people that, that's being misled. I see people that, that's under the impression. And even though... Being misled heavily, by what? Because people are saying no, they being Doc misled. is being railroaded. That people are saying none of this has to do with the case as far as the government no. is concerned. You got the people, government don't no. give a damn about you the accusations. You got people saying that the are kids... Are you hearing what I'm saying? You got people saying that kids haven't been molested. Why is he hollering at this victim? A person who testified under oath under threat of perjury. Look at his body language. What is what do you, you see him, right? What is his stance telling you? What is his his demeanor, his hollering? What is all of that communicating to you? And then you have this guy here disarmed, leaning back away from him as he's hollering at him. We can see that again. We can see that again. That that's under the impression, and even though you're heavily misled by what? Because people are saying no, they're being Doc is being misled. railroaded. That people are saying none of this has to do with the case as far as the government no. is concerned. You got the government don't give a fuck. No, so obviously further. they took your word over everyone else's. It doesn't matter. Like I told you, if we say he's innocent, when well, he's still locked up in prison, your word accounted for everything. What I, I can't go back. You know what I'm saying? I can only face what's in front of me. And everything that's in front of me, I see people that, that's being misled. I see people that, that's under the impression. And even though... You're misled heavily, by what? Because people are saying no, they're being Doc misled. is being railroaded. That people are saying none of this has to do with the case as far as the government no. is concerned. You got the people, government don't no. give a damn about you the got accusations. People saying that the are kids, you hearing what I'm saying? You got people saying that kids haven't been molested. I can't, I can't see what you're seeing. I can't see the... the I know what happened to me. I know what he Fine. did. I know what kind of person he is. You know what I'm saying? So, what kind of person is? That's the question I want to ask you. What kind of person is Dr. I mean, you get what you're saying. So now look. I mean, look at his stance. Look, you all see him. You see him. He's like, what kind of person is? And so now he goes back into his programmed, his programmed responses. Listen, listen to what he says, what type of person. The dude who has been accused of not only hurting him, but hurting many children who people are defending. Yeah. That's the question I want to ask you. What kind of person is Dr. I mean, you get what you see. You get what you see. Tell me, but who is what, he to what you? What people didn't see is also the I asked about going other on. people. I want to know now, about you personally. Not, I want to get into your mind. I okay. want to know what is he to you? Who is he to you? Who he is to me and right now? He's somebody that 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 did a lot of things great, but had his flaws, and it didn't correct those flaws. And he had years and years and years to correct those flaws. He didn't correct those flaws. Now I came back, and now he's incarcerated. Should he be in there? Should he be out? Someone yes, like no. him shouldn't be incarcerated if they if they uh, uplifting the community and doing what he did. But if you're gonna do that and on top of that, still do the wrong thing for years and years and years, then you definitely shouldn't be out on the streets. That's if I if, if the devil if I was the devil the perfect devil is the one who's gonna be a pastor a preacher or the one doing the right thing and actually the one doing the wrong thing and send you to hell. That's that's the perfect devil right there. The perfect, if I was a devil right now, I'd be telling you to do the right thing. I'd be telling you to live your life this way, and I'll be sending you right to hell. The devil knows the, the gospel as well as any pastor or preacher. So if 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 the uh, if the devil is gonna do his job, what better way to do it than to have everybody lifting themselves or doing the right thing? And in actuality, 
it's like they're going up, but they're going this way. It's not, it's not a, it's not a just up. It's like they're going up and, 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 and they're going astray. You know what I'm saying? That's the only really way that the devil could do his job is to deceive people into thinking that he's actually God. To deceive people into thinking that he's actually uh, Christ. That's why they say you will have false, false prophets and, and, and false messiahs. I would respect a wolf. If I was a sheep, I would respect a wolf that approached me and tried to hunt me down than a wolf that came in sheep clothing. My, my whole argument in this whole situation is should people be locked up based on what people believe? I got the right to be angry. You know why? Because yeah. the Lord promises me something different. The Lord promises me that we will lock people up beyond a shadow of a doubt. That's what the Lord promises me. Yeah. But in this case, it was up to 12 people to have that reasonable doubt or not. And those sort of people made the no, decision. It's not, not, so what's the point? If you want to fight it's, for it's freedom, fight for it, if you fight take for, it for another reason. Don't fight for it because he's innocent of a molesting kid. Let's say he molested a thousand children. Factually. Okay. Genetic evidence and everything. Things that we don't deny scientifically. We say, wow, okay, true, 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 true. If someone was to ask me, would you, would you still worship him as your most high, acknowledge him as your most high God? I would have to. I don't identify with everything he does there. Much like I believe most Christians don't identify with everything their God does, because it says their God is a jealous God. And some Christians would tell you it's not right to be jealous. And some would tell you that, you know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be vengeful, but in the Bible it tells you the most high is a vengeful God. And it tells you you shouldn't hate, but it tells you that God loved Jacob. So they're saying that this interview was done in 2010. So this interview is a lot older than we thought. I hope this young man is okay. But you hear what he's saying, right? He's like, I would still have to worship this guy as, as my God, even if he hurt a thousand children, saying that one person's word doesn't account. No, you can be convicted on people's word. If people come forward and they testify that you did this thing, you can be convicted on that. I mean, how many more people need to come out and come forward with credible testimony? Come on. Up and he hated Esau. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the difference between being a proud Nuwabian and, and 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 saying that he's innocent. Okay, that's two different people. I could be a proud Nuwabian because I was born in 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 the Wapu, but it's two different kinds of people. Are you, you a got proud people, Nuwabian? If that's the case, I can be. But so he's like, are you a proud Nuwabian? If that's the case, so if you're gonna be proud, you have to just keep your mouth shut and not talk about the leader that's hurting people. And this boy, this man is like, look, he had enough time to change his ways. He didn't change his ways. He continued hurting people. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Why is why is why is Michael Nowak sitting there doing this? Why is he badgering this man? who is there telling his, his story, who is there coming out and, 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 and speaking about the pain that he's gone through. And he has this man glaring, look at, look at him, hovering near him, glaring him down in a fight posture on the seat. I mean, come on, let's continue. How can I be a proud Nuwabian if the Nuwabians are saying that he's in yeah. different kinds of people? Proud Nuwabian because I was born in 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 the Wapu, but it's two different kinds of people. Are you, you a got proud people? Nuwabian, if that's the case, I can be. But how can I be a proud Nuwabian if the Nuwabians are saying that he's innocent and I'm saying that this happened to me? Yeah, so now was now people, was so it now was it, it is. You see how we sitting down talking? That's that's that's. But see the thing is that you know you now is 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 my word against the master teacher's word. And whose word is they gonna take? I know one thing the master teacher always taught is that there's, when you're looking at the sides of the truth, there's his side, her side, his or her side versus his or her side. But really in actuality, it's just the truth. Your side, their side, and yeah. just the truth. There's only one, there's only one truth. This was horrifying, y'all. This was horrifying. I, I, this was this was this was traumatizing. This is why I gave you all the trigger warning before we got into it. I can't even imagine what this young man was going through listening to this. I, I can't even imagine. In the next snippet, we're going to show a little bit of Sonetta referring to Michael Nowak, Brother Polite, as AKA Baby Dr. York. Uh, if you'd like, you can sort through my videos with the word polite and you can see all of the videos that I've done 
on him. That way you can get greater context. But for now, this is just bonus, which comes from a, another video. Renin Tent, AKA Tashia, right? Listen, listen. Don't do it. Don't make me fucking do it, nigga. Huh? Little Dr. York, don't make me do it, nigga. Little fucking Dr. York. Okay. Who's Dr. York? So now you all are like, all right, well, who is Dr. York? This guy is calling, calling, what's his name? Little Dr. York. Let's, let's, let me, let's, let's, let's jump over again. Let's open up a Google web page. We pulled this up the other day for you all, but we shall show a little bit of it again today, right? So Dr. York, he is, he's the leader of this nation called Nuwabian Nation. He was an American musician and a criminal, a writer, all this other stuff. He got a 135 year sentence. It is said that there has never been a case for a child ring of assault as large and as complex in the United States history as the one that this man was involved in. He is currently serving 135 years under the jail. You know how they say, put him under the jail? This man is being solid concrete beneath the earth under the jail serving a 135 year sentence because of the magnitude of assault that he enacted on children. Had them lunging onto one another intimately while he watched as then he lunged into it too, abused boys and girls from, from early age to teenage and had an entire community out in the middle of Georgia, right? I, the Wikipedia page is there. Read it. That there has never been... A, 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 the, <clears throat> listen, New York... New, well, sorry. I'm from New York. Sorry. York was arrested May 2002. In 2004, he was convicted on federal charges transporting minors across state lines for the purpose of intimate assault, as well as racketeering and financial reporting violation. York's case was reported as the largest prosecution for child assault ever directed at a single person in the history of the United States, both in terms of number of victims and number of incidents. Sonetta called polite baby Dr. York and referenced this girl that people say was 16 when, 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 when Michael Nowak got with her. I don't like calling him Brother Polite because his name is Nowak. He probably doesn't use it because his government name probably sounds foreign to him. And so I say it because that's what he was born into this world as, Michael Nowak, right? So let's go back. Let's go back. Remember... Sonetta called him baby Dr. York, right? Now we saw the magnitude, 135 years beneath the prison. He will never get out in this lifetime. We showed a video the other day of one of Dr. York's victims speaking out and speaking with polite. Do I need to pull up that video? As a matter of fact, I'll pull up a screenshot of it so that you can see. We House with a family, and then you could you could recognize when your child is gone. You mean to tell the world that none of these children had enough sense in their in their mind to go tell their parent that this isn't right? Some I've been touched sexually. Listen. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments down below. How do you feel about Michael Nowak, aka Bro Bro the Brother Polite? attacking this survivor, this brave man who came forward to tell his story. What are your thoughts about that compound that the Nuwabian leader, cult leader, York was on? What are your thoughts about Polite saying he would still, he would still quote unquote worship him. If he would still respect him as a leader, even if he had abused a thousand children. What are your thoughts on all of this? What are your thoughts on people being complicit and knowing calling him Baby York for years prior. Get in the comment section. Tell me what are your thoughts on all of this. And remember, you can sort through my videos with the word polite so that you can see all of the videos that I've done on this subject. I know that some of it is triggering, but there is no rest for the weary. We shall continue to push on. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done. So leave your comment below. Tanya TKO, and I am out.
make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you hit the bell notification. Make sure that you come to my website, tanyatko.com, and click on contact to submit topics and other things that are happening that I may not know about. All right. Talk to you later. Go out there and love one another. Most importantly, what? Love yourself. That's right. Peace.